in the last session we were seeing statutory corporation as a form of public enterprise now in this session we are seeing the last or uh, one another major form of organizing public sector and that is government company when we are discussing about government company many of the things you will be very familiar because it is nothing different from gov uh, a joint stock company it is nothing different from a joint stock company it is very similar to joint stock company then why it is called as government company that is what we have to understand now we are going into it what is a government company government company is a joint stock company which is formed under indian companies act indian companies act so likewise a private company a company which is formed under indian companies act is called is to be called a government company then why it is called a government company and not a joint stock company because not less than 51 percentage of shares is held by government that is the very reason that joint stock company is called a government company because more than 51 percentage of shares will be in the hands of government it must not be less than that more above 51 percentage above 51 percentage of shares will be in the hands of government or is to be in the hands of government such a joint stock company is called government company and it can be either by uh, the shares can be either held by central government or state government or central government and state government and or central government and more than one state government anyway it can be it must be in the hands of government and uh, the shares are purchased in name of president of india this more than 51 percentage of shares of this company will be purchased in the name of president of india and it has a, a major control over the management of the joint stock company as government is the major shareholder government has control over the management of the company so that is government company so it is a joint stock company where more than 51 percentage of shares are in the hands of government now coming on to features features are very similar to what we have learned it is created and working under the provisions of indian companies act again it can be sued and get it can sue and get sued it can others can file a case against company and company can file case against third parties so that is another feature it can enter into contract and acquire property because as companies having separate legal entity separate existence it can purchase property in its name it can enter into contracts in its name and follows regulations in memorandum of association and articles of association you know those are the important documents memorandum of association is that document which is talking about the objectives of the company and articles is talking about the internal management of the company so all the provisions which is mentioned in memorandum of association and articles of association is being followed by government company also and it is exempted from uh, what to say it is exempted from uh, uh, accounting and auditing rules and procedures instead instead an auditor will be appointed by central government and he will look into the accounts and he will present a report to the parliament or he is to she is to uh, present a report to the parliament regarding the financial aspects of the government company and the funds from government shareholdings and the private shareholders basically the capital for running a government company is from shareholder shares which are held by government and of course the contributions which are made through shares by private parties so those form the capital of a government company coming on to the merits coming on to the merits first and foremost merit is that it is formed under companies act and no separate act is to be formed it is following the rules and regulations and procedures of indian companies act and no separate act is to be passed for 
forming a business enterprise second one is it is a separate legal entity even though it is owned by majority of the shares are owned by company it is not uh, consider same as of the owners like joint stock company it is having separate legal entity government is different company is different separate legal entity is the autonomy according to business prudence it has higher rate of freedom it has higher level of freedom compared to the two uh, forms which we have learned here they can go according to the business prudence what is required for business as a company as a joint stock company they can take decisions on what the business at that time requires to do so according to business prudence freedom can be exercised by joint stock company now able to control the market and curb unhealthy practices as joint stock company is providing goods and services at uh, what to say reasonable prices and they are able to get the customers in the hand or they are able to influence the customers and they can uh, curb they can control the unhealthy practices unwanted prices charged and everything by private parties so in that way they can control they can have a control over the market if they are doing their business in the right manner coming on to demerits as government is the major shareholder many a times uh, companies act uh, is not uh, having that much of relevance government acts above companies act and many a times uh, they may not be strictly following companies act so that can be a problem awaits constitutional responsibility because it is brought or it is owned by government but still it is not uh, uh, responsible or it is not accountable to the parliament it is not directly accountable to parliament indirectly through the registrar through the auditor it is but as seen in the other two types here it is not directly responsible to the parliament and the last one is uh, uh, as in the hands of government purpose is defeated actually government is a body which is working for the service of the public many a times when it is entering into the business it is strictly following it is strictly following profit motive and many a times that service concept is often forgotten so many a times it forgots the purpose or at times it can happen the different also the reverse also so the purpose basically for which joint stock company is formed it is many a times ignored many a times not followed so that is all about the chapter we have seen what is department undertaking what is statutory corporation and what is government company